Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel once again and hello to all the new viewers. Now that Black Friday and Cyber Monday is over, hopefully you've all managed to get yourself some nice deals. I mean, as you can see, I've managed to get quite a few deals. So today we're going to be looking at something a bit simpler, quite basic and something that is no hassle to use really. We are going to be looking at this mechanical timer switch. Nothing fancy, nothing high tech. It's very simple and effective and it has actually been around for quite some time now. Now this basically allows you to control your lamp, light or any other electronic devices with minimal fuss. It is also ideal for security because let's say you have a lamp and you want to have it on while you're gone away between let's say between 5 to 10 in the evening then you can easily set the timer here so that it goes on and off just as you want it on the specific times. So let's get to it and have a look at this device. So first, first of all, let's look at the side. Now there's a switch here and if you flick it down towards where there's a clock sign there, it works as a timer. Whereas if you flick it to the other side where you've got the little eye there, it works as a normal plug and the timer does not work. There are various different types of these uh, timer plugs you can get but they all pretty much work in the same way. So here you can see there's a socket for the plug here on the bottom and there is a timer on the top. And as you can see, let me show you, it is a 24 hour clock. If you read, it goes from one all the way to 24 there. Now to change the time, depending on what time it is, let's say if it's uh, six, p.m. in the evening, all you do is you rotate it clockwise until you reach 1800. Make sure you have 18 and that little arrow together aligned. So make sure they're aligned together. So now this means it's 6 p.m. and it actually needs to be plugged in. Make sure it's plugged in for the clock to actually work. And then these little markings you see Basically, they're 15 minutes. So if you look at them, so you've got three after each number. So you've got the first quarter, half past, and then 45 past there. Okay, now to set the timer, you see these little black things back here. You need to push them downwards. Again, they're all little individual ones, so you might need a screwdriver. Basically, every little one represents 15 minutes. So if you are looking to have the timer set where the light goes on from let's say eight to nine what you need to do is if you go here so this is between eight to nine i think that's about correct so yeah there you go that section there so you push it down so between eight and nine there so that the timer actually works during that period what you can also do is you can also have it set from various times. So let's say you are not home and you want to use it as a security light, which is pretty useful. You can have it on and off uh, different times of the day. So you can have it from eight to nine here. And then let's say in the morning, you want to have it on from seven to eight. You can set that as well there, seven to eight. And then let's say in the afternoon, again, you want to have it from four to five. So you can set that from four to five, as you can just about see there. These sections where it's depressed down, this is where the timer will go on. So let me demonstrate how it works. Now let me just put a bulb there. Let's plug this in. Let's plug the timer in. Plug in, let's say, our lamp. And let's say it's 11 p.m. at night here and we want to turn it on between 2 to 3. Let's depress that section there. Now what will happen is when the timer gets there, the light will go on. There you go, it's on. And let's say the timer is moved and it's gone past 3 a.m. There you go, it turns off. Now you can set this for various different time settings. Let me demonstrate. And it will go on and off 
based on the time. I mean, it's pretty easy. It's literally plug and play. And if you want to cancel it, you just move those little black things. You just push them back up. Again, if uh, if you find them a bit small, you can always use a screwdriver pen or something small to uh, depress them down. And that's it. It's as simple as that. So if you're looking for a simple fix to control the timings of your lights or any electronic devices, then I would say this is the perfect solution. It's very cheap and it's very basic. You don't need apps, Wi-Fi, phone or anything. It's mechanical, old school and it works. I will also be leaving some links in the description below if you are looking to get a timer like this or something similar. And once again, thank you for watching my video. Please do like and subscribe to my channel as I will be doing more reviews every fortnight or every two weeks. I will be doing new reviews. Thank you.